Hey guys, Adam here. Today I'm going to show you using Generate Press and Generate Blocks how to change the colors of your headlines, both uh, globally with Generate Press theme and on individual pages with Generate Blocks. Let's start. Okay, so what I have here is a mock up I threw together uh, utilizing the pattern library within Generate Blocks. So I've just got a few sections, logos, uh, some info boxes some alternating um, two column layouts as well and what we'll see here when we go to the back end is uh, obviously the page title here is an h1 using generate blocks uh, these are h2 each of these info box headlines are h3s and these last two are h2s and so the question here is what if we wanted to change these colors site wide so what we need to do is go to your dashboard and go into the customizer. This is where we're going to control it site-wide using generate press theme. So click on colors and come down to where it says content. Hit that drop down and keep scrolling until you see heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four, and so on. This is exactly where we're going to control that color globally so that when you set the color here site-wide by default that's what the color will show on your website. So we can use this as an example uh, as I mentioned this one is an H2 so if we go ahead and select that and let's make it a green color for fun uh, you can see it's reflecting it automatically if we come down here these are also H2 so those are automatically updating as well and we can do the same for H3s, here are the info boxes. Uh, we could do those maybe red. Oh, and you see these are actually not updating. And I'll show you why, because this is being controlled uh, within Generate Blocks, headline block itself. So in this case, uh, in order to eliminate that and be able to overwrite it globally, what we're gonna do is go ahead and publish this so we save the red color. Go to your page and edit this page on the back end. And if we visit those H3s in the info boxes and come to the sidebar here and under colors, you'll notice that the text color is set to white. These with the line through them are showing that there's no color assigned, but here they do have a white color assigned. So as soon as I hit clear on this, it should automatically turn red because that's what we've globally set the color to turn to on the H3s in Generate Press. And there it is. So H3 turned red. We'll go ahead and clear these out to make sure that we can control this globally rather than uh, on an individual basis. Now, of course, uh, if we were designing, you know, oftentimes in a design, a homepage might have a special section uh, that's not used site wide, and it might require an H3 that's yellow or, you know, not your global color chosen with generate press and in that case you'll do exactly what we just did here is come to your block go to your colors and set the text color here and that'll override the global color itself so that's it just remember two things if you want to edit it globally use the customizer within generate press to edit them or on a page by page basis edit the page directly within the headline block Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.